guys. Okay, so everybody's been asking me to make a Q&A video, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I asked you guys the same questions, and besides all the totally filthy, dirty, anonymous questions, you guys are all perverts. Dirty old men. Um... We'll start from the last one. I'm sorry. This person asked, if you liked a boy, what would you do to get his attention? If I have to do something to get his attention, then the chances of me liking him are probably not very high. Uh, do you miss anyone? Yes, I do miss someone. What's your dream job? Clinical sexologist. You mentioned you were pansexual. When did you know? How did you come out? Um, I think I started realizing that I was more attracted to, you know, everybody when I was in elementary school, around when I hit puberty. Um, and then I definitely know I liked girls in middle school, I think I accepted it when I was in like the 8th grade, and I came out when I was in the ninth grade, and I came out as being bisexual, and I was not, you know, I was younger, I didn't really know anything about the, you know, LGBTQ community, and then I was researching everything, and I was reading about pansexuality, and I think I just fit more in that category, I guess. I don't really like ivories, like, I don't like to label myself, but I really don't really think I should have a label, but if I did, that's what it would be. I'm, I'm kind of gender blind, like, if I like somebody, it's because I like them, it doesn't matter what your gender, or sex, or race, or what religion you practice, anything, it doesn't bother me. So, yeah. Oh, how did I come out? Um, my parents were going through my backpack. And this is in the ninth grade. And I didn't do it by choice. I think I mentioned it to my mom or something. And she's just like, well, it could be a phase. I don't know. But I never, like, fully did it. I just mentioned that maybe I thought it could be or something. And then they saw a note that my friend, my girlfriend, had written me. And they were like, are you gay? What's going on? And I was just like, I like girls too. <laughs> Surprise. Um, okay. Does age bother you in relationships? No. <laughs> age does not bother me. Have you ever been skinny dipping? If not, do you ever want to go? Yes, I've been skinny dipping. Who hasn't been skinny dipping? I want to go skinny dipping in the ocean. I've never been skinny dipping in the ocean. Oh, this, okay, I read this one earlier. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you because it's kind of personal. But this woman said, hey, I love your blog. Uh, what can I say? I'm in my early 20s and I'm a girl. And then she talks about how basically, like, while she's with her boyfriend, whether it be during sex or when they're just making out, she is constantly thinking about, she says, uh, during sex, I can't help but think think of how my body looks. I want to relax and enjoy myself more. Any advice on this or things I can tell myself? I think that has to do with people who watch porn or watch porn before they had sex. And they have that idea that during sex, your body is just supposed to look perfect and everything is just supposed to look smooth and nice. No, just don't think about it. I think you, you kind of think of yourself from a different perspective, like an out-of-body experience. And I think you it, just close your eyes and just relax. And don't focus on the way you look. Just focus on enjoying yourself and the feeling and just making sure everybody's happy. I, I think that's just sad that people are so concerned about the way they look and the way their bodies look during, you know, making love to one another. And I think you should just relax and know... Just know that, you know, your partner's right there. <laughs> if they didn't like the way you looked or they weren't happy with the way you looked, they probably wouldn't be with you at that time. So, just keep that in mind. Just know that they're there, so obviously they don't care. <laughs> so you shouldn't care. Uh, this person just sent me a message. It literally just says, advice for young girls. 
that's not very specific. Um, don't listen to what other people say. Because no matter what you do, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't agree with you or doesn't support you. So don't listen to what people say. And don't talk mean about people. Don't talk behind people's back. Don't gossip. It's boring and stupid. And there are so many more interesting things in life to do than that. Um. Hi, Anna. Anna wants to know what my biggest pet peeve is. And what my favorite movie is. And what my hobbies, what hobbies I have and my favorite song. My biggest pet peeve. People who complain. I hate people who complain. And just dirty people. Like people who don't have good hygiene. That bothers me. And when they don't chew their mouth, like, well, can I hear chewing? Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> I hate that. That's disgusting. Um, my favorite movie is Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. Makes me cry a lot. I watch it. Like, the first time I saw it, I was really confused on what was going on. And it's every time I see that movie, I catch something different. And it amazes me every time I catch something different about that movie. Literally every single time I watch it. I've watched it in black and white because I've seen it so many times in color. I've literally watched that movie. Like, I changed the color setting on my TV to black and white, and I watched it in black and white once. That should say something. My hobbies, I danced for, like, over ten years, and then I quit, so I don't really have any hobbies. I'm really good at Netflix marathons and snuggling. My favorite song, she wants to know. Um... Tough. Ooh, I have a tie. I have a tie between No Lies, Just Love by Bright Eyes and Live and Die by um, the Ava Brothers. Have you ever seen a cat sneeze? What? <laughs> no? Should I see a cat sneeze? I'll look it up. A cat. Sneeze. We'll, we'll watch a video of a cat sneezing. Cat sneezing. I'm just watching the first one on Google. I don't know. I don't want to be too loud. We got a puppy sneeze on film. That's the first. <laughs> Have you been sneezing all week? My cat sneezed when I picked him up the other day. Yesterday. Sneeze. Thank you. Bless you, puppy. Bless you, Pokey. That's weird. That's really cute. Let's watch another one. Is it video? It's not video. Okay, whatever. Okay, that's weird. Um, I'm not answering that. You guys are disgusting. That's vulgar. More vulgar. Okay, embarrassing moment. My most embarrassing moment. Um, when I was in second grade, um, my mom brought in pizza because we did good on our testing scores, like our standardized test scores. We got like the highest scores at our school, and. My mom brought a pizza and the Iron Giant, and we were all going to watch a movie and have pizza. And I went to the bathroom in the back of the class, and I was afraid to walk bathroom doors. So I was afraid I was going to get stuck in there and pass out. I don't know. what I, I was seven, I think. I don't know. And that, like, nobody would be able to save me. So I'd be stuck. So I never locked bathroom doors. And I, like, the lights were off, so you're watching a movie. All my feet hurt. And, um... This girl, her name's Carrie, I remember, because we made fun of her, because her name was Carrie, and she cried all the time. We called her Crying Carrie. We were mean, but she cried all the time at everything. She was very tender-hearted. But this bitch, fucking, without knocking, opens the goddamn door, 
and I had like, I was like mid pulling my pants down, like they were like to my knees, and not only does she open the door, she opens the door and steps out of the way, I don't know why, but she does, and then this like beam of light from the bathroom, because it was dark, shoots out, and everybody turns around like to see what the light is, and she screams. She opens the door and screams at the top of her lungs because she saw me naked. And the whole class turns and sees me naked and I just, I'm just like frozen like. Yeah, everybody saw my Lady Biscuit when I was like seven. It was terrible. And then I just played it cool afterwards. Everybody forgot about it in like a week, but seriously embarrassing for a seven-year-old. Uh, have you ever reread a book after finishing it or wanted to? No, I've never reread a book. I have trouble reading. Um, have you ever been in love slash are you in love? Yes. What kind of music do you like? Oh, I don't know. Um, I have a really weird taste in music. I like a lot of indie music. I like folk music. I like like 70s and 80s rock. I like, I don't like country music. I don't like a lot of rap music. I like like electronic music. Who, I want to give you guys more ideas of who I like, but I don't know who. I'll search there. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say something and have it not be my favorite. Um, this is a nice question. I like this. Props to you. Um, what is one of your favorite lunch spots to go to with or without friends? That was a cool question. Thank you for that. That was original. I don't know. Even though I don't know the answer. Probably like Chick-fil-A. I really like Chick-fil-A. Um, or Taco Bell. Chalupa Supreme. Baja Blast. The end. Okay, that is disgusting. That message is also vulgar. No, you're never going to see that. You're all gross. Oh. Mmm. People want to know an update on everything that happened with my principal. Oh, and yes, that was my post, by the way. Some people were wondering, because I changed my URL, if that was still my post. It is. I'm the person who wrote the long thing and had the picture. This is actually the couch. By the way, I'm like this in the picture. I have a note I'm like this. In case you're wondering, this is the same couch that I was taking on. Um, update on the principal situation. He never apologized. The school board uh, never, they had a comment, but it was, we support, I don't know word for word, but it was basically, we support our principal and his decision to uphold the dress code, which he wasn't doing. They were sexist remarks, but okay. A lot of people thought I had a problem with dress code. I don't. I'm all for uniforms, honestly. I don't care. Um, it's just what he made. It wasn't right. It's not, it's inappropriate. And it's teaching younger people that it's okay to do those things. And it's not. Um, he never. Anyway, he never apologized. Uh, I was on several local news shows. I could probably link the videos. I'll post a. I'll make a post with all the video links and everything. I was in the paper. There were. There was an article I did an interview um, with a reporter, and there was an article in the our local paper, and. Then there have been a bunch of editorials, especially recently, about what people think, and it's just been nothing but support. And I just, I'm so happy that, like, literally, I think I've had two people who've been rude about it or not agreed with me on it. And I've had a lot of parents with children who've sent me messages. The amount of Facebook messages and emails and messages on here has just been crazy. I'm so thankful and I'm just happy. It doesn't matter. He didn't apologize. It doesn't matter what matters is 
how many people that I feel like I've empowered to actually speak up now. It's okay to speak up, even if you're scared, even if, you know, you don't always have support, you need to speak up. Because if you don't, nothing's going to change. So, I think that's all that matters. Um, so I'm happy. I'm happy about how everything turned out. Um... Someone wants to know how tall I am. I'm really tall. First, guess how tall I am. Just, I'll give you two seconds. Okay, go ahead and guess. Not just from how I look. No. You have your guess? Okay. I'm 5'10". I'm pretty tall. My brother's like 6'6 six, six or 6'8. Six, I don't remember. My dad's like 6'4 or something. My sister's 6'1. I, I, I'm in a very tall family. Um. Oh. I see how tall I am, and somebody uh, uh, asked me, this is weird, what shoe size I am, and if they could see my feet, somebody has a foot fetish. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm, I'm a size 9, like 8.5 or 9. Um, I'm hesitant to show, you know, I'll show you my feet. I'm not ashamed. Show you my feet. I danced for over many years so they're kind of not very pretty but those are my feet for freaks out there who wanted to see them so yeah okay thanks for watching i hope i answered all of your questions if you have any more questions maybe i'll make another one uh or you can send me a message i'm really nice i'll reply i'll try to reply get lots of them um if you need advice just ask me, or I'll post it. Uh, if you post it anonymously, want me to post it, and I'm sure some of my followers can help you out. Okay. I love you. Thanks for asking all your questions. I hope I answered them okay. Okay. Have a good night. Bye.